Hello guys, welcome to Bugs in Code and the problem that we are going to solve today is a valid compressed string. But before that, if you are new here and a person who likes stuff related to coding, then you can subscribe my channel so that you never miss out an update. So let's get started. So here's the problem statement and it says that a special compression mechanism can arbitrarily delete zero or more characters and replace them with the deleted character count. Okay. Given two strings S and T where S is a normal string and T is a compressed string, determine if the compressed string T is valid for the plain text S or not. And one more example, one example is also given here. So let me explain the example. The example is we are given a string uh, which is hello world and we are also given a compressed form of the string which is h2 l o 4 4 t and we have to tell whether uh, this t is a compressed form of s or not so what we can do here is from this string s if I delete uh, like these two characters and these four characters and replace them with the count of these characters. So it is going to be H2 L O and here I have deleted four characters and after that I have D. So isn't this string is same as this given string T. So we can say that yes there is possibility then I can compress this string in such a way that I get this string. And so our output is going to be one here one for yes true one or i will say true both are same now let me i hope you guys got the clear understanding what the problem says and let me just move to the solution okay so i'm going to take uh, the same example where i have a string which is so here i have a string which is s equals to hello world and also there is one more string given which is t and t is h2 uh, l o 4 and d now what i can do here is i can have two pointers like one is here and one is here after that if my characters are equal then i am going to move my uh, pointers ahead and if they are not equal then I am going to return false because if character at current index are not equal then simply the string is not a compressed form of the particular string. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am going to move my pointer here and this pointer will go here. So for the second iteration let me use a, a different color. So in the second iteration I am here. Now from this point I can see that I have a number here. This number represents that uh, there will be some characters which were deleted and then the count was replaced by these two so what i can do is i can move my pointers to two ahead uh, two points ahead uh, for this string so what uh, i am going to do is i am going to move my pointer here why because i am assuming that these two characters were deleted uh, in this string and that's why we have two here after that i will move my pointer here for this and I will move my pointer here for this t now i can see that the character at this point and this point are equal so i am simply again going to move my pointer ahead and now my pointer is here and this pointer is here the uh, the characters at the, at this point are also same so i am simply going to move my pointer here and this pointer will come here now again i can see that uh, here i have number four so 4 is something which is a number, uh, right? So it means that there will be uh, some characters which were deleted uh, in the past and then those character count were, was replaced by this 4. So what I am going to do is from this point, I am going to move 4 points ahead. So I will come here. And now from this 4, I am going to move 1 point ahead. So I will come at this D, isn't it? I hope you guys are getting the intuition what I'm actually doing. So now I'm at this point and for this I'm at this point. And I can see that at this point the characters are also equal. So now I will come here and I will come here. So at this point I'm out of bound for both these strings. So at the end if I'm out of bound for both these strings then I'm going to return. Yes, one this is uh, 
a valid compressed form of this particular string. Now, what were the observations that we have made? Let me write uh, the observation. So I will write some observation and you can validate those observation whether I'm right or not. The first observation that I have made is if characters are equal for both these strings. So if character for uh, like S of I is equal to T of J. Then what I'm going to do? I'm simply going to move my uh, both the pointers. So I plus plus is going to be here and like I'm going to write actually pseudo form is more better. So I'm going to write here move both pointers. After that one more observation that I have made is if my characters are no, not equal. So if uh, not equal to t of j but but there is something like if they are not equal then it's all right but if my t is a number like okay uh, let me do this and if these character are not equal and t is not a number number like both are characters so at this point i'm going to return false false because uh since no any character was deleted there is no any number uh means no any character was deleted at this point and we are not having same characters so unfortunately these string these two strings are not equal so like at this point if i have l uh if i have l instead of this h then output is going to be false isn't it why because at this point our string was not equal and now what i'm my third observation was if uh okay so let me use black color for this so if my t of j means the character of uh, at the current point in t string is digit then what i should do then what i was doing here see in this example what i what i was doing is i was actually moving my pointers of s to some point ahead which is this number so i is going to be i will be i plus here uh, one thing that i have not told you is i is for this i is pointer for this string and j is pointer for this string i hope you guys are understanding now what i'm going to do is i'm going to move my i in t of j like how many characters were deleted i am not going to consider those much characters and then i'm going to move ahead of those also my j is going to be moved further as you can see here at this point i was moving j as well as i uh, by the count now one more observation that i want you to make is like uh, it is not given in the example but it may be possible that my s is hello world and my t is something like h 2 l o 4 d and then m n o p anything for this my output should be false so if i have reached the end point for this and i have not reached the end point for this unfortunately so at this point i have to return false and i have to return true only when both the pointers are at the last point of the string isn't it i hope you guys uh, understood what i'm trying to say here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to write one more observation that at last if both pointers are pointing to pointing to end point like end points uh, of the string the strings like both these strings then return true then simply return true hooray we got our answer return true return one actually now this is all about this problem i hope you guys got the clear understanding what i'm actually trying to say 
so now uh, i'm just going to code this uh, approach but before that i want you to uh, observe one more thing here like at first it seems like it is simple that i will get uh, the number from this character and then i will move forward but this is not something that is going to happen here like we can have examples like h12 and then l o 4 d what about this for this we can see that this is a number as a whole like so i'm not going to consider a number as an example like this is one and i am going to move one step ahead in string s so it is not going to be like that instead what i need to do is i need to get this whole number which is 12 and then i am going to move 12 steps ahead uh, in my string which is a normal string or plain text so this is what uh, we need to observe here now i am just going to code the approach and let me just move to this so this is the problem on geeks for geeks and i'm even going to provide the link in the description box and the code link uh, on my github so now let's start what i'm going to have is i'm going to have two pointers and after that i'm going to start my loop for each uh, string and j is smaller than t dot length after that if my character at t is digit so Uh, if it is digit uh, I have to do something and else I have to do something so if t is not digit then I am simply going to have both the characters and I am simply going to check whether my characters are equal or not so if my like if my characters at i and j are not equal at this point I am simply going to return false or zero why false because since we are not deleting any character because there is no digit and our character is not equal so i'm going to return false else the characters are equal no doubt so i'm just going to move both the pointers ahead by one point after that what i can do here uh, like at this point what i can do is i'm simply going to check uh, I'm going to actually get that number like for that 12 so how I'm getting the number is I'm actually having a count and while my j is smaller than t dot length and and or character at j is uh, like character dot t digit or character at current j point is a digit so I'm going to consider all those digit and how to convert a digit into number it is a simple formula convert t into its uh, int integer form this is the way to convert and now i will surely have an integer mm, which is considered already so i am just going to move my i pointer ahead by count now at this point should i need to move my j pointer no because I've, i have already moved here so let me write j plus plus as well so this is all about this problem and at the last what I am going to do is I told you one condition that my both pointers should be at the last point so if my i and j both are at last point so at that point I am going to return 1 so I am going to write a conditional statement here which is this let's check whether it works or not so okay it's taking too much time but why let me do it again i guess my uh, network is slow let me do it just again okay why it's not running
this may be because of my network issue so let me check my internet connection here I don't think there is uh, anything wrong with this code and I'm just going to verify it by running the code. Okay, so it's showing compilation error and here I have not written character. Okay, check now. Okay, why it's showing something like this. Let me refresh the page. Let's check it now. Okay, why it's showing? It's showing compilation uh, submission limit exhausted, but why? Okay, so this is the code and let's submit it. Okay, now it's working for the example test case and let me just submit this uh, solution. I think it should work. Okay, so it's working and this is all about this problem. I hope you guys like the solution and the intuition behind the solution. So this is all for now. Thank you.